buying a ready-made HMO. Is it a good idea? Great question. Check out this video as we go through some of those answers. Tony Fung, hey, nice to see you back. Uh, so Tony has said, what's the tips of buying a ready-made HMO? I found one six beds HMO that seem to have three rooms that are too small, uh, 6.3 meters squared, uh, but they are currently have six bed HMO license. Um, uh, let's go over to Bronwyn and then Paul Hilliard. Um, talk about buying ready-made HMOs versus just doing your own. Yeah, so you've got to have the knowledge around what the specific licensing requirements are in that area so uh, it does vary um, and usually it's to do with room sizes number of bathrooms and communal space so if you can gen up on that or give the council HMO officer a call you never know they might answer the phone and and find out what those um, what those current requirements are and if anything's going to change in the future um, and if it conforms to that then fine um, if the rooms are small and someone's put it on the market you might realize why they put it on the market <laughs> you've got to do your due diligence so um, check that out first and the other thing about ready-made HMOs and I bought one that was my first HMO I ever bought um, and you know just check it's not overpriced because sometimes commercially the agent can really push that price to say, oh, you know, this is worth this much. So you can overpay for an HMO. Again, do your ROI based on a few voids and just make sure that it's realistic. OK, the agent, the agent won't know the answers either. So don't ask. Well, you can ask the agent, um, but quite often the agent won't understand the rules and regulations. They just want to sell it. So, yeah. Anyone else? Simon. Yes, um, it's also worth noting if there are areas of genuine non-compliance in the building, um, chances are you're going to be buying this with a mortgage and it will be, have to be a specific HMO mortgage and the chances are the surveyor is going to find out and, and relay back to the lender the uh, rooms don't meet local authority compliance and you won't get the mortgage. Before we go any further, I want to explain that there are many live events that you can register for free. There are four events that's showing HK to UK to help people move from Hong Kong to the UK. The property expert panel. If you're a property investor and property developer, this will be very useful for you. Tax Q&A. If you want to ask proactive tax questions in regards to structures and how to mitigate tax in the future. And finally, UK tax return Q&A, as it says, to deal with questions in relation to your tax returns before you submit it to HMRC. Don't forget that these events are live and will be shown on YouTube the day after. So why not register today, start saving tax tomorrow.